so much and welcome back to another video. So, um, today we're going to be taking a look of every new skill set and every new monster getting released into the uh, Blossom era. I was telling you that the skills that were, go were going to be released uh, on Monday, uh, turns out I was wrong and they got released just today, uh, along with ev every other design and stuff like that. So I'm just going to talk about the skill sets and not about anything else. Uh, of course, like, from here and beyond. Uh, you see, from here and downwards, uh, that's it, pretty much. And yeah, we're going to be reading just that. Uh, before we start, I want to inform that there is going to be... Um, uh, there is going to be... Uh, let's say, there is going to be... Um, Okay, let's say that there is going to be a new status effect called Roots, which is basically uh, a stun, a deny skill, which uh, blocks the next turn of the monster who has it, and uh, gives practically guard down. I don't know for how much it lasts, I think like one turn, uh, but we'll see. So, uh, we already saw um, Queen Zara, so I'm not gonna start from there, but I'm going to start from Narita the Dam. Uh, the, 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 Denan, okay, sorry. Uh, nature magic sport with straight disabling extra turn and status effect removal. This monster is formidable, dude. We are starting an era with such an incredible monster, and I am annoyed because this is going to be a paywall monster. This is going to be a thirty dollar monster, and of course they made her the only good monster in the whole era. So let's let's start by reading this. Um, I, I again, I think Queen Zara is cool, but. Mm, she's not at, the, at her level at all. So, uh, the first skill is Fairy Deity deals Mother Nature damage to an enemy that plays poison, zero cooldown. Uh, that's pretty cool just because of the torture. Uh, Magical Treasure applies torture to torture immunity to all allies and life region. I didn't remember the torture immunity. Okay, you know what? I think this, I think this is actually a really good skill. Because torture immunity, yeah, you cleanse the tortures and you apply life regen for the zero cooldown skill. That could be interesting, but it depends. But we'll see later uh, with the other skills. Then we have Master Master Breeze, I think that's how it's read. Uh, deals modern nature damage to one enemy, applies poison, and disables straight on one enemy. That is pretty cool. We're starting in an era that is full with dodge area monsters, and knowing that you have a single trade disable, it's quite good. I'm seeing an extra chance skill here. Let's see. Um, Lust ble Blessing, I don't know how that's it, it's pronounced. Don't, don't ask me to pronounce stuff well, because I'm not good at that. Uh, removes all negative effects to one ally, applies life regen to one ally, and gets one extra chance to itself. That is pretty good. Because in the, you can like cleanse to one ally and uh, trade disable. That's really cool. Uh, Claim Moss Solace uh, deals mother nature damage to an enemy, removes positive effects from an enemy. 50% chance of playing possession. That is cool. That is really, really interesting. You remove positive effects and apply possession. 50%. Okay, instead of like having uh, um, a skill which like removes positive effects and applies. Poison or whatever or even like just removes positive effect. This is really better because you will still have a chance of denying and since this monster from what I read is not a denier That could be quite useful in a lot of times, but we'll see uh, Laya fail uh, removes negative effects from allies and applies torture immunity and heals by 30% That is good uh, healing removes positive negative effects uh, wait Sorry, I, I am confused. You remove the negative. Oh, no nothing. Okay. I was like if you remove the negative effects Why are you applying an immunity to the tortures if the tortures are already cleansed? I am stupid. I know that <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm making this confusing. Well, yeah, this is this is a really good skill uh, Deck that deck the cauldron is that how it's pronounced? Okay, I don't care um, Deals modern nature damage to all enemies apply poison in the in the simple straight so this is the OE version of the the this this one, which kind of was expected. Uh, and then let's see, the Spear of Love uh, removes positive effects from an enemy, gives an extra turn. Oh my God! 
Oh my god, okay. I read like a little bit. I just read the trade disable. And I did not read really shit an extra turn PR skill. That is crazy. You can you can remove positive effects, you can cleanse and remove trade. This is an, an awesome monster. This this she is so powerful. My god. Okay, I am super happy about this. This is actually insane. Oh, I already see this monster being mad at it, dude. This is like the new Lord Inheritor. Or like, the, to be honest, the new get support monster of the era. Depends on the talents that get released, but even if no, like, denial, denial talents get released. This is still a really good monster. This is a, this, yeah, this is a really solid uh, skill set for a monster. I, I love this. Uh... Antlerian nature and magic control monster with roots and cold activation. He has a trait of harden. That's good. Uh, immune to tortures. Yes. <laughs> okay, so uh, we practically have. Um, the, yeah, this is the, the immune to torture is really good. You know why? Because you know uh, tortures are really are a really strong uh, mechanic in the game right now. And having an immunity like shown with Lord Inheritor or every other torture immune monster, this monster is going to be kind of meta just because of that. And then it's the rank three status caster, pyrophobic, pyro, fuck, pyrophobic shield at the start of every battle. That is good as well. Um, pyrophobic shield is good because you're uh, there's a lot of strong fire attackers and the fact you're blocking that, it's pretty cool. Like, we have Lord Inheritor, which can cleanse positive effects, but... Eh, I don't know. Like, this monster has potential just because of the immune to tortures and the pyrophobic shield. The Harden is nice, but it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, I think this is quite decent for a trait. These are the designs. This is Queen Zara. This is Torvax. Um, Silex. I really like this design. Uh, Rock Arch Druid. Uh, and Antlerian. Oh! This reminds me of someone. I don't know who. Oh yeah! <laughs> this is oh uh, what, what is it called? This is Asgore. This is Asgore from Undertale. <laughs> it reminds me of him. Uh, Mr. Beast Echo is kind of weird, but I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, Mr. Beast Echo event. Mr. Beast Echo is a water and nature. Every single monster that I've seen so far is double element. Is this going to be a whole double element era? I'm confused. Uh, attacker with double damage and drone skills. Okay, that's that's cool. Uh, that sounds like a strong attacker to be at the start of every era, so... I think it's... Yeah, I think it's enough. It's quite good. We have then the Antlerian moveset. Okay, nature control with roots in a, in a cooldown activation. Two denial skills is kind of decent, because uh, if a monster is immune like to control, and knowing that... Roots is a control effect, you're still stopping the enemy. Same thing goes for uh, cooldown activation. If a monster is immune to cooldown activation, it's most likely not going to be immune to roots. So, yeah, that's kind of good. Uh, white Cedar uh, deals modern nature damage to one enemy. Uh, that's not that good. Uh, mini Shield Tree, uh, Man Shield, Manchinal Tree, okay. I don't care for the name of the skills, really. Deals low magic damage to to all enemies, applies curse to all enemies. Zero cooldown, airy curse. That is quite nice. Yeah, I, you're... Yeah, because it's zero cooldown, so that makes it pretty cool. Like, curse is the is the strongest, in my opinion, um, uh, torture in the game. And knowing you have a zero cooldown skill that applies curse to all enemies, that is honestly quite good. Um, then we have Lancy Creek applies torture immunity to uh, one ally and pyrophobic shield. Uh, again, you can protect your ally. You can apply uh, the torture immunity, which is good. And yeah, that's I think uh, I think that's kind of a cool skill as well. Uh, I think though you won't run it realistically. Um, then we have Mendocino Tree. Uh, applies, uh, activates cooldown on one enemy and applies curse and requires cooldown. Uh, that is kind of cool. Uh, as a single target, um, CDA, 
uh, by the fact that you have curse as well, I think it's kind of good. Then we have Ancient Forest, deals modern nature damage. Oh my god, I, I need to shut down my phone. <laughs> Ancient Forest deals modern nature damage to one enemy, applies roots, and requires cooldown. Dead. Okay, this is a single roots. Uh, this is the first time we've seen this this effect, by the way. Um, then we have deepest roots. Uh, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> you can't call deepest roots a skill that has cooldown activation, dude. <laughs> that is just wrong. Um, wait. Oh, okay. Wild fig. I skipped this skill. I place torture immunity and fire for weak shield to all allies. That's really good. That's like an area evasion. Plus torture immunity. That that is that is cool. That's that's really cool. Um, then activate skill cooldown. So place curse. That's good. Uh, and then Norwegian spruce deals mother nature to all enemies and applies roots. Okay, if run with the right monster, this is a uh, this is a really good monster because immune to torture. Um, he has immune to torture. He has shielding. Uh, he has tortures and various denials. So I think this is going to be. Not a meta monster, but quite a playable one if you want to do some creative builds. I kind of like this monster a lot. Uh, by design, its design is not the best, but I guess it doesn't matter, because the design doesn't make the whole monster for the majority of times. Uh, then we have Sinelex, Earth, Earth and Light. Yeah, another double element monster. monster. Earth and Light tank with Sunburn and Shield. Okay, so Rock Sparks doesn't... If he has Taunt... Uh, if this is a taunt monster, in, in, he is going to be the free um, PP monster, by the way, yeah. He is going to be free, and everybody's good to get him to rank uh, to you at least. So that's cool. Um, we have Rock Sparks, deals Mother Earth damage to one enemy and applies Daze. Daze is not that good. Uh, Traveling Rock deals low Earth to all enemies, that is not good. Um, Reconstruction deals Mother Light damage to one enemy and applies Sunburn. Um, some single star burn. I don't think that is good. Uh, levitating, fl levitating flint applies a 50% shield to itself. Eh, you can shield yourself if this is a good tank. You you can protect yourself at least. Uh, ancient symbols deals mother like damage to all enemies. Apply some burn to all enemies. Okay, this is kind of a good. Torture skill if you want to run on a meg on a taunt monster, but again, it's not too good. Um, Soul and rocks deals very heavy earth damage to an enemy. Applies thirty percent shield. Uh, again, a shield, but I don't think it's that needed. Nature lighter removes uh, all negative effects from itself and applies a fifty percent shield. Uh, that's okay. That's better than usual than usual other skills. Then compressed formation deals. Um, deals mother earth damage to all enemies and place days to all enemies. This is not looking to be an, a good monster, to be completely honest. Unless he has taunt, because if he has taunt, that is, he is a, definitely a good monster. But if he doesn't, um, this can straight up go to the garbage bin because this monster is not good at all. He has a lot of shielding, but what are you going to do with shielding when you have an attacker that can remove shields? Uh, like. Or you're not an attack character that can remove positive effects. You, you, this is not good. Uh, Torvax is the next monster, which is the $50 monster. So, Thunder Controller. Oh, a single uh, a single element monster. Why is everyone double element is, and this monster is single element? Maybe. I think these ones are like lore based monsters, so that's why. Um, this is going to be a really long video, by the way. Uh, Thunder Controller with Stamina Removal and Addition Skill. Okay. Uh, Test and Sickness deals Mother Thunder damage to an enemy, applies Stamina Leak. Um, Robbery in Andromeda deals Love Thunder damage to all enemies and applies Curse to all enemies. Why are you copying Antler? Uh, Antlorian, whatever he is called. <laughs> this is the same scale, but he is a $50 monster and the other one is uh, free. <clears throat> Space Lever Traveler. Gives 100% stamina to one ally and requires cooldown. I mean, stamina drain is not that much of a deal because, you know, um, relics are a thing. But yeah, I think this could be useful sometimes. Maybe your monster doesn't have a stamina recovery relic. Uh, Come see and defeat. Uh, deals moderate thunder damage to one enemy, applies curse and stamina leak. That is not good. Uh, Milky Way drink. 
deals low thunder damage to all enemies, applies curse, and gives 30% stamina to all allies. That is not good. Um, okay, this is maybe better than the other skills, but not that big of a deal. Uh, Magellanic Clouds deals moderate thunder damage to an enemy, removes 100% of stamina, applies stun. Uh, this is practically a 2 turn denial, but again, it's not guaranteed because a lot of monsters are immune to stun and stamina drain. Again, it's not a big deal. Then we have Mafei Doomed, gets 50% of stamina to all our lives and apply stamina regen. Um, uh, I don't know, this, this is just a weird monster to look at. Stamina regen and stamina. I mean, you can heal, but it's I don't think it's that good. And then Virgo Standard deals low time damage to all enemies and apply and removes 100% of stamina to all enemies. Okay, um, this is odd. I this monster is really bad. I'm just saying this. I don't like this monster at all. Uh, go with Antlerian. Antlerian is a is a really really good uh, monster compared to this guy, and I think you will get more um, more stuff. Out of Antlerian that from this guy, but yeah, that's pretty much all about it. Um, then we have Rock Archdruid. Uh, I, I, I think this is the remake of an epic monster. Um, if I'm not wrong, uh, F and Light Controller with Stun and Stunburn. Okay, I think Antlerian is going to be better than this guy, but we'll see. Uh, Delta Hercules deals more like damage to an enemy, applies days. Yeah, I mean that's. Not good. <laughs> Deals load earth to enemies, applies days to all, that's not good. Uh, gamma, Gamma, Tun, Tukin, Tukin A. Okay, I don't care about the name. Deals modern light to an enemy, applies stunburn, not good. Uh, Deals modern earth to an enemy, applies stun, um, single stun, I guess you can run that. Omega the Draconis, removes all negative effects from itself, heals by 20%. I mean, on a monster that can be nice, but this is still not a good skill. Uh, simum, simum, simum. Okay, I don't know what that is. Well, what that means? Do small earth damage to one enemy. Apply sunburn twice. Ah, apply stun. Okay, this is better. Uh, stun to twice to one enemy twice. It means it's not gonna miss pretty much. Uh, pure light. Do small light to uh, light damage to one enemy. Apply sunburn. That is not good, and please be at nearly stun, it is, okay. Uh, deals modern earth to enemies, and apply stun. Another bad monster, of course. I, the only thing that can save the this era is Mr. Beast. The new Mr. Beast monster, because apart from Antlerian, Neri dot a damn, and the other monster, and, uh, and the, the legend pass monster, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't see anything too special here. They are all pretty bad monsters. So let me know who you, what, what do you think about these monsters in the comments. And since this is a really long video, uh, I just comment down roots um, to to say if you watch the whole video. But yeah, I am kind of tired. Uh, it's been like a lot of time recording, and I guess that's pretty much all about it. Uh, this era is not looking too impressive. Knowing what we saw at the start of the last era. But yeah, I guess that's all about it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.